what is up everybody truly samuel here and today we have kind of a different video from gaming i really have no idea i'm having a little bit of problem with the subversion roleplay server i'm having some uh, frame drops so i really didn't want to make a video on that it's not going to be nice content it's really just going to be stuttering and lagging a frame so i really don't want to post that until i fix that i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for my most successful month on youtube yet now i just wanted to show you how i somehow managed to get almost 90 subscribers in less than a month and around twelve thousand views now all i did at first was that i set a goal for myself it was the uh, 13th of december i was posting some videos as you can see right here so we go way back before all of this started so right here, I posted this video and I was seeing, you know, 26 views, 25 views, 29 views, 48 views. And I wasn't really happy at how my channel was doing. And this was because if you see in my uploads, I was uploading like twice a month or even once a month. There was some time where I wouldn't upload at all. But as you can see, when I kept some kind of schedule, I would get a, a, a fair amount of views. But then I decided... I got to get some content and I got to know what I'm good at. The only thing that I was good at at the time was GTA, GTA and other games. So I thought Dead by Daylight doesn't have a lot of following, uh, but it's still a good game, you know, but it, it didn't work out. As you can see right here, they, they weren't getting a lot of views. And then I thought GTA, it has a huge amount of viewing and plus the one of the biggest update is coming soon so why not uh make videos on it so i started off with an uncut video of the thing you know doing the Cayo Perico heist scoping out the place around an hour a long video it got a fair amount of views i was i was really really surprised at how many views this video got but um anyway after that I just decided this is what I was going to do. So I did the finale. This didn't do as good. You know, I got my hopes low, but I said, no, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to post as many videos as possible on this topic. And so I did. I mean, I posted one of each prep. I did the hidden caches, you know, and they were getting a lot of views. Once I finished the preps, I had two of my most successful videos. Now, I understood something about my channel. That my most successful videos, which I'm going to show you after this, are only tutorial videos. So, as you can see right here, this one was mostly because it had bugs and glitches and people wanted to find out how to fix the glitches. This one was also because people had glitches and, you know, I decided to profit off of that and do another video which explained exactly how to get to go to Cayo Perico for the second time, which helped a lot of video people. And as you can see, got a fair amount of views. Also right here, another one help video. This is just the finale. Doesn't help a lot because people already knew how to do it. Y you see how to get the Golden Perico gun. It got a lot of views. Now, these guides didn't help me out a lot. And as you can see, I left them for a while because I didn't like them anymore. But I finished them. I finished these. I, I started making some rant videos. There's also probably going to be another one coming soon, but I don't know when. And I also did the solo public session, which also got a lot of views. Now, seeing these videos one by one, as you can see, now I have a steady almost 100 to 200 views per video, which was really, really rare back then. As you can see, 29, 48, 18, 19 was... It wasn't fun at all getting those kind of videos. So as you can see, let's go to most popular. And my most popular video is this one with 4.1K views. This one, this one. As you can see, all of them are helping guides. This one got a lot of views because of the collaborator thing. People wanted to know how to get one. Uh, the mineral transporter, as you can see, it's a tips and tricks. So it's still like a how-to I think this one got a lot of views because it had VR on its title. So it's actually one of my first videos on YouTube. And as you can see, all of them are helping videos. And just people, people also when you make helping videos, people like to subscribe to you, you know, 
so this one, everybody would subscribe to me because I helped them. Someone would say, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. You deserve a sub. And even if someone just said thank you, I'd say, okay, no problem. I hope you have fun. And after that, they might subscribe. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, you can ask people for sub subscribers when they comment on your videos. But yeah, so this is coming from a pretty, pretty small channel, you know, but I had a lot of growth. I almost, I almost doubled my subscribers in less than a month. If you go right here, 232 video views. So video views for the last 30 days. This has started falling because, you know, well... And also subscribers for the last 30 days, 91, which is amazing because if you look at this, if you look at my video views, once I stop uploading, they don't go as high. So these are days that I upload, as you can see, once I upload, I get a lot of views on those videos. But when you don't upload, the videos fall, they, they, keep, they keep coming, but they fall a lot. So you, you want to make sure that you keep on uploading videos, even if it's help or if it's something like that. So my subscribers, what I did was I made a few videos, one or two, where I asked people for subscribers. You know, guys, if there's some intros where I literally is 99.7% of your viewers are not subscribed which is crazy, you know, imagine if just 1% more subscribe, it would be double, double my subscribers, and I just really wanted people, so once I did that, I got a huge amount of subscribers, there's actually a day where I got 15 subscribers, gotta go under detailed st statistics right here, yeah, right here, the 25th of December, I got 15 subscribers, 26 3 6 3 7 1 1 1 uh this right here the minus views i actually deleted some old videos which i didn't want on my channel but as you can see i i was having a pretty good month and i i, I will keep doing this i think that if i keep on uploading videos if i just keep a good schedule you know people will subscribe a lot more and will watch my videos because if you don't upload videos, there's nothing that's going to be seen, you know. Uh, uh, YouTube will drown your videos. They will literally remove them just so, you know, they can. They want new content. There's a lot of hours. Let's search right here. Let's search right here. How many hours of content? Content is uploaded, are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Every minute, there's 500 hours of content. Now, imagine, why would someone choose your channel? Why would someone choose 10 minutes of your channel when they, where he can watch like 400 hours of other people's things? That, that might be way better. And I also started YouTube as a thing to, um, to upgrade my skills on video editing and like... Uh, What's it called? Video editing and Photoshop editing. So if we go data edit oldest, look at this. These aren't even thumbnails. I used to do these videos on my phone, as you can see. So it was mostly things stolen from the internet. You know, finding something on the internet and adding a photo to it. As you can see, 50K subs, hiring a collaborator, disco domination. Everything was taken from the internet. You know, I, I did some that I took myself, but still, it wasn't as good. And now, if you go to Data Edit Newest, my thumbnails are looking way, way better. I know way many more things to do. I started editing gradients, and I also started editing my videos. I didn't know how to back then. So, you know, my videos were literally one shot of, like, 20 minutes uncut things and just posted on YouTube. But so like I, th there's nothing I can really thank about this, uh, like uh, for this growth. All I want to thank is Rockstar for giving me an update to work on. You know, the Cayo Perico heist is what got me started. Seeing those first 100 views on this video made me think, hey, this, this is actually pretty cool, you know. And just thinking, I started thinking, if somebody is taking even one minute out of their life in a day, 
just to watch my video. That made me feel happy. You know, I'm, I'm fulfilling. I'm not the one watching anymore. I'm the one making the video. I'm the one making the content. And to think that how many people have commented like, hey, thank you for this. I also had someone com uh, send a message to me on Discord. Yo, I've been watching your videos. I like them a lot. That, that made me feel really, really good, you know. It, it, it's not just about posting a video and then leaving it there. It's, it's feeling the niceness out of people that say, yo, thank you for this. I really like, like, uh, it helped me out. This has helped out a lot of people. But for some reason, it doesn't work for some. It, it crashes their game. I don't know why. It used to, for me, crash my game. But once I did a window borderless, it started not crashing anymore. But that's the, the only thing that you need to grow on YouTube. is not, yeah, it is quality content. But not quality content every three months. Don't look at big channels. You know, John Tron shows... Like, that guy posts almost once a year. But he has a fan base. He has a lot, many million subscribers. So he already has a, a base, you know. He's already built the starting point. Well, you're, you're a small YouTuber. You only have so many few subscribers and so many views. And if someone, even if someone sees your videos... On their recommended and it has 50 views why would he watch it he's going to think to himself hey this video has 50 views i don't think it's worth it to watch it you know even if you search my name if you search truly samuel the first thing that comes up on my videos okay well maybe it's because i have this but if you search from a new account it's actually just going to show my most viewed video the 4.1k view video. So you've got to think that many people won't watch what you think is best because they don't know what's in the video. They see the thumbnail, they see the title, and they, they, they watch a little bit of the video. But if it doesn't have views and if you don't have a lot of subscribers, you don't have a fan base. You know, not many people are going to click on it because they don't think it's going to be worth it. And if you keep uploading every day, you're going to have one video that's going to explode. I promise you this. Because listen to me, I actually intended for this one to get a lot of views and this one. But these three were never, never supposed to get a lot of views. Now that's bad. I, I think in my idea it's, it's bad because if a video that you made for fun, this is going to Cayo Perico for the second time for fun, you know, it gets the most views on your channel. It's weird. I understand why it did, but I didn't want it to get so many. And the other thing, you need to know what you're best at. So on the gaming, like gaming videos, you need to stand out from other people. You know, you need to do something different other than other people because if you're going to keep posting i could have just keep on kept on posting like finales or maybe one or two i i did post a few challenges like this one everyone dead and this one no guards killed but if i kept on doing the same fucking thing over and over again i was going to become a repetitive channel and it just wasn't going to be fun so i decided to start making other things on my channel. I did the rant video. It did pretty good. I don't know why I kept, I didn't keep on uh, capitalizing on this, but I should have. And then I started on the subversion roleplay, which is actually are two of my best videos right now. And I'm going to keep uh, that ongoing. But as I said, I'm having a few frame problems. I might do something later, but I don't know yet. And that's what I'm saying. You know, you gotta know what, what to do on YouTube, what you're best at. So if you look at it here, wait, there's uh, similar channels. So, um, okay, will this open up or? All right, so here you go. As you can see, subs. Other people that are at like my level, so daily, monthly, even though this guy gets 5.4K, views monthly he's gotten two subscribers 
I, I have double the views, so I should get double the subscribers. But I have, like, what? Almost 50 times his subscribers? Like, 40-something times? So, um, you got to know what you're good at. You got to know what you should do. And I, I found my place. I found my place. I'm going to do role play videos and I'm going to do tutorial videos because that's what goes best. I'm not only going to do them for GTA because, you know, you're going to run out of content eventually. That's what happened to me. That's why I haven't posted in a while. I've ran out of content. I've ran out of content and I also have, um, I also have school, so I got to think of other things. But I've ran out of content. That's the main reason. Because when it first came out, I just could have pushed content easily. But now I can't just post the same thing twice. So I got to think a little bit. Also, also, make sure to change, you know, make, bring new things to your channel. I, I recently changed my channel art. So that was a nice thing to do. You know, it, it, it felt like a change. I added a lot of other things. I got a subscriber from Twitter. I actually talked to him. I've got some from Instagram. So just make sure to expand to other areas because if you only stay on YouTube, you're not going to make it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.